overall thoughts on the Royal Rumble winners. Hello and welcome back to my channel, this YouTube channel, the Alexis Carrillo brand YouTube channel. I am Alexis Carrillo and this is of course more wrestling talk content for all you wrestling fans and being that this past Sunday we had the beginning of the road to Wrestlemania, that's right, the pay-per-view known as the Royal Rumble and for the first time we had ourselves to Royal Rumble matches. Now in terms of the pay-per-view, like I said in, in the previous video, I wasn't excited about uh, the main events for the championships. Having a triple threat match that involved a part-timer in, in Brock Lesnar, an out-of-shape veteran in Kane, and an upcoming uh, uh, superstar that the WWE has uh, or was not planning on pulling a trailer yet on in Braun Strowman. I wasn't really excited for that particular match. And in the case of the WWE Championship, I would have been more excited for that match if it had been a triple threat match between AJ Styles, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens. But uh, instead they decided to go the handicap route, which in my opinion is great for an episode of Raw, great for an episode of SmackDown Live, but it should not be for the top championship at a pay-per-view. But anyway, getting back into the Royal Rumble match, Winners. Let's talk about first uh, the the wild card pick, the the Royal Rumble winner, the men's Royal Rumble winner, and that man, of course, is Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, why do I say this is uh, a wild card? Well, first of all, because many uh, thought that uh, the the first ballot winner or the or or someone to really bet on to win the men's Royal Rumble match was Roman Reigns, uh, that being option A, and option B would would have been the wild card option. Many people were speculating from it from uh, from the winner being Seth Rollins to a Finn Balor to a Dolph Ziggler to Shinsuke Nakamura. Any of these men could have won this match, but the chances and the odds were in favor of Roman Reigns, and now all of you fans that hate on Roman Reigns, uh, hate that I don't really understand, hate that I don't justify, but uh, the WWE played the end of this match perfectly because it was down to the final two, Shinsuke Nakamura and Roman Reigns, and you know, uh, the WWE has been booking Nakamura in a very uh, bad way, they have been really missing uh, something in terms of booking this man, this man that can really go in the ring. They haven't really showed that since he uh, got to the main roster. They have really hurt his credibility by by uh, uh, putting the microphone uh, in front of him, you know, letting him talk and not giving him the right dialogue. Uh, having this uh, accent that, you know, it's understandable from where he comes from, but if the dialogue is you know not good it's cringeworthy it's gonna get worse so i so that's what i what i so those are the doubts about shinsuke nakamura actually winning this match now in in wrestling terms this gets me more excited for wrestlemania because obviously the big match that everybody is looking forward to the big match that everybody is awaiting at wrestlemania 34 in uh is it Orlando or New Orleans? I, 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 I've already forgotten where this year's WrestleMania is going to be. But everybody's looking forward to Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles at WrestleMania. And so am I. I think it has the, the, the chance to really steal the show and be the match of the night. And you, all of you hardcore fans, obviously looking forward to that Wrestle Kingdom rematch from a few years ago. Now, in, in terms of the Women's Royal Rumble match, 
uh, I don't know if you watched this video, but it was uh, one of the first few videos that I posted on this uh, YouTube channel when I started this wrestling talk show up. And it was, who do I think would win the Women's Royal Rumble match? Now, I gave any number of candidates like everybody else would. There were so many uh, candidates that could win that match that it was really hard to predict. But my main uh, candidate, my main prediction was that Asuka was going to win the Women's Royal Rumble match. And uh, guess what? She did. She became the uh, the historic first uh, winner of the Women's Royal Rumble match and now she's going on to Wrestlemania and now I had stated this before I think that they should give Oscar the Brock Lesnar treatment have her win the Rumble and then go on to not main event the uh, Wrestlemania because uh, I don't think they're gonna close the show out with a women's title match just yet but you know have her win the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania, really establish her as the main threat, as the as a top gal, as a top woman on the roster, and then build someone up to try and take that championship away from her. So anyway, in terms of the Royal Rumble winners, I'm I'm I gotta say I'm satisfied with with what they went with. More with Asuka than with Shinsuke Nakamura. Like I said, Nakamura has been bucked so weakly over the past few weeks, barely seen on SmackDown Live, that uh, it was really out of nowhere this this uh, Royal Rumble win. But hopefully, uh, you got two two months and a half to build him up for WrestleMania, and really the match uh, speaks for itself. AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. All you got to do is build to a competitive match at the at the biggest show of them all. That's it, you know, and Asuka, I, I'm not sure who they're going to pair her up against at WrestleMania, but, uh, you know, there aren't really any dream matches in those uh, options for me other than Asuka versus Charlotte, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure WWE wants to send Asuka over to SmackDown Live just yet. But anyway, what do you think about uh, these Royal Rumble match winners? Do you think that WWE picked the right uh, superstars to win each Rumble match. Were you hoping that uh, anybody else would win uh, said Royal Rumble matches? Hit me, hit these, hit hit this video up with a comment down below right here on on my YouTube channel. And uh, that's it for me. Till next time.